Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Ali LaForce, our reporter. So the Hornets starting five. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. Terry Rozier is out there with Miller. And it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Nuggets, manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the five, down low. Well, Grant, with that time of the year where trade rumors start to heat up and speculation on social media runs rampant. Oh, you're so right. I mean, we're not just talking players, too. A number of coaches are on the hot seat as well, so it can be a bit of a distraction for everyone. And, of course, the only cure is winning. Here's Miller. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Pass to Gordon. Outside Murray. Jokic with it. Back to Murray. Shot clock at six. Now Caldwell Pope. From the high post. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Bridges down low. Porter's there. And stolen by Jokic. Porter in the post. Guarded by Hayward. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And this is how you execute through contact. Porter Jr. outworking the defense in style. Doris, you look at the Hornets. It's been a roller coaster ride the last few years. It certainly has, B.A. And when their best players have all been available, they have shown an ability to compete. But so often that has not been the case. So hard to have sustained success if your guys aren't available. And it's Jokic with the ball for Denver. Gordon outside. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Quick instincts from the savvy big man. Aaron Gordon getting his shot off under duress. Nice. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Bridges passes to Williams. Bridges against Gordon. Bridges right side. Good work defensively by Gordon. The Nuggets have gone two of three from the floor. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Gordon. Nice D from Bridges. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Caldwell Pope against Hayward. Pass to Miller. Jacks up a three. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, Gordon Hayward has the ability to be a primary or a secondary ball handler. Why? Look at the passing he's capable of. Now here's Murray. Very solid offensive production. Averaging 18 points a game. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. Rozier, the pass to Bridges. Off the mark there with a three. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. It's a three-point game. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now.
And it's a completely new group here for the Nuggets. And here's a look at some numbers for Nikola Jokic. Smith passes to Smith. Back to Smith. From deep. And it's Denver with a rebound. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. And they swept the team last season. Got the upper hand and sustained the momentum. Well, a year ago, there was a big gap in talent between the two teams. But changes are always made, and we'll see how they match up this time around. Five on the clock. Here's Watson. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter and they get it back right wing with this pause let's update you on the best rebounding teams in the NBA over the previous 10 games Denver in fifth and over the last 10 games this team has brought it to the class everyone is getting involved and trying to help one another secure boards And he makes a first. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And finally getting to full strength last season, the Nuggets showing how great they can be, Grant. For well, the franchise's first ever championship, B.A. And you look at all their top players just entering their primes. Plenty of runway left ahead of them. Pass to Watson. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. And there's the whistle. The illegal That's screen great. is the call. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Smith. Yet to see a basket. There's the block. Jackson outside. Smith with the rebound. Charlotte's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Smith outside. Four on the clock. Let's the three fly. Buries it from three. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Nuggets ahead, up two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play and from what you've seen from the Nuggets what you take so far well they came out with a physical presence and made rebounding a priority I think it's why they hold the lead here early because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second chance opportunities 
It's great that basketball has become such a worldwide sport, Doris. The talent in the NBA has never been better. I couldn't agree more, B.A., and great competitors, no matter what, want to play against the best regardless of where they come from. Look at the MVPs. Giannis with multiple wins in that category. Nikola Jokic with back-to-back -back MVPs. I love it. The better the competition, the greater the level of play. This is how the floor looks for the Hornets starting the second. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. Miller is out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Richards in at the center position. And so Porter will bring it up for Denver. Pass to Gordon. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Murray against Rozier. An open look for Porter. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got his second basket of the game. Good awareness by Murray. Sees a hole in the defense and feeds the guy ready to exploit it. Hayward's shot is off. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful. And because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. Here's Miller. And he banks in the layup. Miller's got five points. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Jokic with it. Richards is there. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. And the basket by Bridges. It's going to take more than that to impede the progress of Miles Bridges. So adept, keeping his focus on the basket when he shoots it. And discussing the game of Terry Rozier, Doris, what's something that impresses you about him? Probably B.A., his confidence in his game. Uh, he's so aggressive and opportunistic on the offensive end. Sometimes you've got to find guys who put the ball in the basket, period. And that's Terry Rozier. Porter against Rozier. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Willing to sacrifice his body. Porter Jr. on the attack draws the whistle. That's good from Porter. An exceptionally skilled player. You hope Michael Porter Jr. stays healthy. I mean, his potential is limitless. Williams is checked in for Charlotte. Washington comes in for Hayward. Porter hits them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Michael Porter Jr. never lacks for confidence in his jump shot, but he said, offense for me should be an autopilot. I should be focused on the intangibles, the defense, the rebounding, the dirty work. That involves you in the game. Brian, the buy-in and the commitment to the little things has not gone unnoticed. Yeah, I love that. That's a great point. Thanks, Allie. Here's Murray. After the basket by Charlotte. The three. Hits a three-pointer. Murray's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Wow, Murray making the deep shot look just easy. I mean, that's a real testament to his accuracy. Here's Bridges. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. And the Nuggets time call time here. And with the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there.
And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. Taking a look at Charlotte, they're way down there in the conference, but still optimistic they can turn it around. Right now for Charlotte, by all accounts, the changes they made in the offseason are just not working out for them. And remember, this is a team that had talked about the importance of getting off to a quick start. This has been a worst-case scenario. Their confidence looks shaken. Charlotte trailing. Smith passes to Washington. To the paint. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. Pass to Najee. Jackson with it. From the low block. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. And here's Smith. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First one falls. He does not get the second one. Denver has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Pass to Brown. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. For Charlotte, they've gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Jackson surveying the D. Get there, get there. Launches a three. They get it back. Here's Najee. And so it's Denver. Closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Appearing in control, but could still use a little more of a push to feel totally comfortable in this one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A pretty close game for the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. They did lead by as many as seven points in the first period. They went into the half with a seven-point lead after executing well in the second quarter. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Nuggets? They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. And the effort has been excellent. The numbers are too. And I don't see those numbers dropping off. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. Looking at Charlotte, Kenny, your thoughts? They haven't been able to get anything going on. The, the lack of production doesn't just fall on the shoulders of the players. The game plan that the coaches have, it's whack. It doesn't work. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway.
Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. One of the stories here, Michael Porter getting it done today. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point guard position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Here's Miller. Hayward outside. Clock at six. Offline with a three. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, the Hornets are trying to work their way up. Coach Steve Clifford said the whole thing that you want to try to create in any season is finding ways to get better every day. You have to be able to handle frustration just like you handle success. I'm proud of the way they've hung in there and the attitude that we've had about it. Brian? Yeah, you can see him building, Allie. Thank you. And here are the Hornets now. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. Hayward, the pass to Williams. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but 3 for 4 now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Guys, it seems to me that every year, Miles Bridges takes another leap. This guy is versatile. He can play both forward positions. He brings so much to the table. one falls for him. Richards is checked in for Charlotte. Bridges hits them both. Now here's Murray. Five points in the game. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Terry Rozier picks one up. And the intensity Murray plays with is impressive. Excellent work forcing the issue and drawing the contact. Can't get the first one. You know, I just love the moxie Murray has to his game. He's so fast and supremely confident. And he sinks the second. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Hayward outside. Inside. Here's Miller. He's got five. Clock is at three. Richards. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. 
Caldwell Pope, the pass to Jokic. Shoots over Hayward. In deep. That's easy work for Jokic. This right here, whew, this is how you want to play the game. With passion, with energy, just great hustle play right there. Here's Miller. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Hayward. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. Porter shot is off. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Hayward, the pass to Rozier. A minute 39 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Bridges outside. Over Porter. Bridges misses. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Pass to Rozier. A minute nine left in the third quarter of the game. And play nice stops. Screen. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And the Nuggets going with a whole new group out there. Jackson, the pass to Najee. To the middle. Here's Brown. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Brown's gotten his second bucket. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Pass to McGowan's. Here's Richards. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Got it. Thirty-six seconds left in the third quarter. Rogier against Jackson. Here's Watson. Second chance shot. And it's good on the lay-in. Najee's got his first points in this one. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Rozier. Oh, yes, the turnaround. How about Terry Rozier showing a little bit of versatility, gets to the mid-range game and makes it good. To the paint. Here's Watson. That shot off. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Nuggets ahead. They lead by 14. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Hornets, it's Bridges and Washington teaming up at forward. Then it's Terry Rozier, and it's McGowan's in at the shooting guard position. Here's McGowan's. It's Bridges on the wing. Just five to shoot. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Denver. Caldwell Pope comes in for Jackson. Miller's checked in for Charlotte. Smith comes in for Rozier. And for Charlotte, they're shooting at about 34% here in this game. You good? Hey, yo, right here. Here's Miller. Outside, Williams. Three, three, three. Washington against Gordon. 
He shoots it. They get it again. And Williams punches it home. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanted to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to Gordon. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. And the Nuggets lead by 14. Well, I love the concentration. Simply stated, when Aaron Gordon is this locked in, he is very difficult to deal with. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Washington. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I think you have to admire the aggressiveness with which P.J. Washington plays every single night. falls for Washington. So for the Hornets, Gordon Hayward comes in for Bridges and Terry Rozier subbed in for Smith. And so Washington nails both of them. And Doris, for the first time in league history, players can now own minority shares in NBA and WNBA teams. And B.A., obviously, this is groundbreaking in terms of the context of American sports. No other league allows for this. I am really excited to see how it plays out. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. And you got to commend the focus on the basket. Murray absorbing the contact well. Free throw drops from Murray. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Rozier, the pass to Washington. Not going to go that time. Good work defensively by Gordon. So far, rebounding has been a big factor tonight. Here's Porter. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Hayward outside. High arcing shot. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Outside Murray. Shot clock at five. True on the 14 footer. And the Nuggets lead by 17. Defenses have to be aware of Murray at all times. His shooting ability makes him a threat from all over the court. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. And with the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there.
All right, time now to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Nikola Jokic. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. You know, I got to applaud his incredible energy out there tonight. Losing again was not an option for him. He wouldn't settle for anything other than a win. Now here's Rozier. Back to Williams. Here's Washington. Ooh, lands soft on the front of the rim and drops in. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Nuggets. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. Murray inside. Bounded by Rozier. Murray, no good. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. <laughs> it's like he's doing pull-ups on the rim. Looked like a schoolyard playground right there. Murray finds Jokic. A minute four left in the fourth quarter. Porter. Washington grabs the miss. The Hornets have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Nuggets. Loved how much they moved the ball out there tonight. Yeah, no one got left out. This was a real team effort. And a good performance to bring them their 18th win of the year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And propelling them to a solid win, it was a night of big plays for Nikola Jokic. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. Here's Murray. The Hornets making their last shot. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Going inside. Pass to Jokic. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Hayward outside. Over Porter. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. All right, thank you, Nicola. This team showed up tonight defensively. What can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? I mean, uh, it's a whole collective. You know, it's uh, not just one guy, it's the five guys on the floor. So it's a coach, it's a bench, it's a fan. So thank you, thank you guys. Thank you a lot. Thanks to all. Thanks to you, Nicola. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.